G'day folks, I'm Rick Hollis, 42 Gear Street, Henning's Mum's Backyard, Dave Friedman, Beer, Whiskey, Sammy Bowler, Mika Tiska, how do you approach a fretboard? The question, I asked it, they answered, this is what they had to say. I wanted to ask you guys about your approach to the fretboard, because I, I gotta admit, I was flying blind for a long time, and I was one of these guys that, hey, we're playing an A minor, I'm gonna play in this little box here. Oh, we're playing an E minor, I'm gonna play in this little box here. So I took it on myself to try and learn to play all over the fretboard. What I came to, to realize is that there's many different methods of viewing the guitar fretboard. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's one thing I wanted to ask you guys is, how do you view the fretboard? Because it's not like a piano, you know, a piano, you can see the black and the white notes, and it's, oh, yeah. I had a little, like a, piano player envy kind of thing because yeah. they have kind of logic i mean that that interface has its own difficulties yeah especially if you want to modul modulate yeah it's always easy to modulate just move like, it up oh, one yeah, yeah. Slide, right? yeah. yeah. Okay. for me uh well i find basically three ways yep the first one is the caveman way uh, which i find the most uh easiest to follow your inner ear yep. my playing is really depending on i, I call, kind of call my playing more like singing through the guitar okay like yeah so uh, i like to listen what i hear here yep and then just try to perform it on on the fretboard and this i just played very loud so maybe some of these pickups will get but this is the keyboard piano keyboard sure. right here one yep. octave Yep. And you could have a black marker and write those black keys there. Yep. So that's learning it on one, one string at a time. And that's one of the things. Uh, one string playing, when you when you start finding the notes like this, yep. you start kind of seeing the intervals. Yep. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone, tone. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. And, it's, and you, it's easy to connect your ear with, with the playing. Right. The second one is playing two strings. Two yep. strings. So, so Kind of like yeah. the the octave approach. Yep. And then, like anything, whatever I play, like if I find the right note, and I can fi figure out, okay, this is another note that kind of fix or. Yep. I can play it already in three octaves. Like right. a piano player can yep. repeat things, so it kind of makes things simply simplified. Yep. And then the next third one is the positions. Knowing all the fingerings to no, the, the fingers. Yeah, there. I, I'm very uh, arrogant, and I, I think Sammy should tell about yeah, his, his, yeah, his yeah. view about it. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm. We're not exactly. The it's very the similar. Way. Yeah. Um. I'm. I'm one of those people where I don't like to think about anything when I'm playing. Yeah. You know what I mean, I'm yeah. just like because I think if you're thinking about what you're doing when you're playing, you're not in the moment. You know? Yeah. And music's all about being right there. You totally. Know? Totally. Um. So when I first like when I first started, for example, like I'm um my heroes were like Van Halen, yeah, like everybody, yeah, like everybody, like yeah. everybody, yeah, Randy, you know, yeah. And Eddie, most of the stuff he does is based on kind of like what you were saying. I'd start like say you're playing in like D minor, you'd start all right, tenth fret. This is where yeah. we go. This is yeah. home base. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So I think like to start out there, I'm 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 a real rocker. You know what I mean? So it's like that's that's still where I my go to. Say we're 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 playing at the club, we're about to take a solo. That's where I'll usually start. Yep. You know. Um. It, it's safe, isn't it? It's a safety zone. It's safe, but you know what I do is I, I, I think of everything. When you're taking a solo, you need to be thinking about everything you know all at once. Yep. If you're thinking at all. But you need to, like, I think of it like Battleship where everything lights up. Like if you're playing yeah. a few, yeah. you know what I mean? Everything yeah. lights up on the neck all at once. You know? Cool. So the first step would be like, all right, you're in the pentatonic, which is like two notes per string, right? And then Eddie would do it three notes per string. So here you go. Right. Yep. So that's like kind of like that's where I usually start if I'm yep. if I'm going. Yep. And then I think of like as a secondary position, like the Randy Rhodes position, like in Mr. Crowley, like if he was in that key, he'd do fifth fret too. He'd okay. Go. So I never really got into Randy, so I'm not sure of his he's his approach. Best. Go to go get into him. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's cool. The best. Cool. So all right. So if you got those two, you got two positions, right? Hey. Everyone. And then we're leaving now. We gotta go. Video. No. Now. Now. Literally in 10 seconds. We'll be in the there. Car. Don't worry about okay. it. We'll, meet we'll you. be there. 10 seconds. We'll be okay. there. Okay. Bye. Ten Goodbye. Seconds. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> it's, it's now like five seconds. Ten yeah, seconds. Yeah. Bye. Yeah.
Any. You could buy. Video is going to you buy. Wanna, wanna, this is a very good thing video. You wanna go? You wanna go, Friedman? Mm -hmm. You wanna fucking go? <laughs> <laughs> it's for another time. Okay, this is good stuff yeah. right here. So yeah. get up. This get is good. This is right the nitty gritty. The best stuff today is happening right now okay, here. The best the stuff today. Yes. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. We we'll yeah, get there. Best stuff today, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Best stuff today. That is uh, true. No, definitely not. The shirts but. definitely top this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so you're saying Randy? You got, yeah, you got Eddie and then you got Randy, right? Yep. And then if you got those two, you also have up here because it's just an octopire. So you got, yep. That's even higher. And then, so those are like what mainly lights up. And then for me to connect it, I use everything you were just talking about. Yeah, I, I, exactly. That, you Does have, that make sense? Kind of, I, I think I'm thinking the same thing. I have that one there. Yeah, this big the other part. Here, this big that, part. That, uh, yeah, way up here, right? Yeah. Like the main position is there, and you just use one string to kind of climb and one connect them. Or yeah. I'm big on the two string. Oh yeah, and yeah. especially I do a lot of like two-handed stuff yeah. too. So I break the guitar up. So that's the main thing. Like you're just wailing at the gig, you're taking a solo. That's mainly what I start with. What I just talked about. Yep. But say we're trying to connect it, right? Because you can't just be here and then shift down, then or else you sound choppy, right? Yeah. So to connect it, I, I break the guitar up into uh, three groups of two strings. So you got E and A. Yep. D and G and then B and E too. Mm -hmm. And then if you play something on only the E and A strings, you can play the exact same thing, just slide it up two frets. Yep. And then you can slide it up three frets, right? Yep. yep. So that that really enables you to do really wild stuff. Like even like you're saying more like the piano approach, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So say like you're gonna do an arpeggio like this, you can't really hear it, but yep. Yep. if you think about the two string approach, you yep. can go. Yeah, the three or cool. right. See what I'm there, saying? Right. All of a sudden you got so the you're whole just repeating neck. Up two frets, then up then three up frets. Three. Yep, yep. Yeah. Cool. So you can think about it. That that's I think of that as like vertical because you're going across and up, right? Yep, you're yep. not just staying in one. This is horizontal. If you're just in one yep. position, you're wailing Chuck yep. Berry. Yep. And then vertical is like kind of what you were doing, like the two and I think that is vertical. And then this is diagonal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just I'm always like home base is like pentatonic more shred and okay. rock and roll and then to connect it's the other stuff the two string or one string. I, I think the two string thing uh, one of the e the things that kind of makes it more easier is if you are able to at least for me uh, to keep it simple if I'm able to repeat the same fingerings when I go to octaves it kind of it's easier to kind of stay on the map. I, I don't want to do anything hard ever. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. It's because <laughs> I think we're very similar. We just yeah, the same thing. I can't think when I'm playing. Yeah. It's all about hearing it here and trying to make yeah. it yeah. kind of try to make that sound that I hear come out like same time when I hear it has to come out on the fretboard. Right. It's, that's your how you're playing. For sometimes your heart. it's single yeah. note. Sometimes you hear this arpeggio happening, but it's still kind of like.